in Patna, the capital of Bihar. Who doesn't know the Jesuits? It is a well-known fact that the fathers have been running some of the best known schools. It is common knowledge that some of the best run schools in Bihar were started by the American Jesuit fathers. St. Xavier's School started in 1940 has produced several well-known civil servants. St. Michael's School which the Jesuits took over from the Christian brothers in 1968 is another elite school. In Betia, in North Bihar, the Kris Raja High School started in 1927 has brought up the sons of the soil. Today, the Jesuits in Patna province are running a total of 12 schools and 3 colleges as well as a number of non-formal education centers serving some 20,000 children every year. Saint Ignatius believed that everyone should be educated. He also felt that true education should enable children to grow up into good human beings with conscience, commitment and compassion. But the spirit of Ignatius of Loyola cannot be contained within schools for the elite. Education has a key role to play in affirming a person's dignity and asserting one's rights. Patna Jesuits have reached out to provide quality education to the people on the margins. The name itself, Musaha, means rat hunters. So they early in the, in the initial uh, time or earlier times, they depended on rats to feed themselves. So this is the community that the society has opted for to empower in the coming years. The educational condition of this uh, community is utterly uh, poor. Only 9% of the people are literate according to 2011 census and only 1.8% of, uh, of the children who complete metric have reached able to do their higher education. So that is the level of oppression educationally, socially, politically and they are nowhere in the power equations of the state. And our interventions with this community is basically to build human resources within the uh, community so that a self-sustained momentum of empowerment happens within the community. And this process is done through a well-designed program called the Patna Jesuit Social Action Model of Education and Empowerment. I have been a beneficiary of REITS special educational program for the Majis since 2012. I have given my final year BSW exam and I am preparing for the final year BA Economic Honours. I consider myself very fortunate and privileged to be part of the training in REIT. St. Xavier's College and St. Xavier's College of Management and Technology are affordable options for Catholic students and also those from other disadvantaged groups. The purpose of starting a college or an institution of higher education, which we delayed by almost 40, 60 years, but the Patna Jazz was delayed uh, on the reason for the reason that uh, we wanted to focus on primary education. Now a time has come that we want to pay attention to our uh, students, especially two categories of group. One are Catholics or Christian students who have no place to go, higher education. And secondly, all those who are considered uh, marginalized, disempowered, uh, in, in our term, the Musafas and other scheduled caste, scheduled tribe groups. We have nine 
social action centers run by Patna Jesuits. And I'm told that almost every year 200 students are passing out. So we need to bring as many as possible to this institution. St. Xavier's College of Education has contributed immensely to supplying good quality and well-trained human resources to the education system of Bihar and beyond. St. Xavier's College of Education serves about 75% of the marginalized, of which 50% are Catholics or Christians and 25% belong to SC scheduled caste, scheduled tribes and OBC categories. They are from the poorer marginalized sections, but we make sure they get a good education training in Bachelor of Education. We believe in quality. The students who come here are from villages mostly, and they are very uh, poor academically and very raw too. But by the time they complete their beard training, the finished product is much appreciated by different schools and they are all observed in different schools immediately. Jesuit skilling programs are another way of building up competent human capital. The elimination of poverty will take place through skill training especially still training for the most downtrodden. The focus group of Asha Deep is basically uh, scheduled caste, scheduled tribe, other backward classes, basically the economically lower strata. And the students who come here, some are very poor, some are struggling uh, for just livelihood, some have dropped out from the schools because they have no money to pursue their higher educations. And we have a very good networking with the industrial partners that we are able to place over 84% uh, in the jobs. Ashadip will become a resource center. This will be a coordinating center. It's got facilities with the good, with the generosity of people. So this will become a resource center for uh, all the other centers in Bihar. So this is our uh, long-term vision. The journey this far was only possible because of the tremendous help and support of our benefactors and our collaborators. There are miles to go and we look forward to your continued interest and support. Dear Father, whatever you have given us, we will not allow it to waste. No matter in which corner of the world we are, we will reach out to the needy in whatever way possible. We will not let this light to die within us.